say. He don't want to don't worry about him, sir. He don't know about God. Worry about what the Bible say. Read what you got. And to serve the Lord thy God. Come on. With all thy heart and with all thy soul. Come on. To keep the commandments of the Lord. The Bible say in order to love God, to serve God, to walk in all his ways, is to do what, sister? You want to work with white people. Don't be how, do you, how do you do all of those things? Read it again. <laughs> to keep the commandments of the Lord. So how do you love them, sir? By keeping the commandments. Now, I got some questions for you. What's your name? I, I mean, not your name, but how old are you? You forgot my name No, I know your name is Caleb. But what, um, uh, how old are you? 26. 26. Uh, young sister, right? Let me ask you a, a question. Why is our people at the bottom of society? Our people. Why is our people at the bottom of society no matter where you go in the world? Why is black people, Mexican people, black, Hispanics, and Native Americans at the foot of every nation? Why? Well, I feel like because we were already set back, and then on top of that, we still do actions to keep ourselves here instead of But we already at a disadvantage. You are at a disadvantage. Why? Why are you at a disadvantage? Yeah, slavery. Look, we behind because we don't utilize our God. I'm gonna I'm, I'm take you straight. I'm gonna tell you straight because guess what? Uh, 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 you don't have knowledge of yourself. Don't worry about him. He's crazy. If you don't have knowledge of yourself, young sister, if you don't have knowledge on uh, uh, on, on, on who you are and where you're supposed to move or how you're supposed to move. How the hell are you gonna move forward? You're not. You're, gonna you, be you're not. You're and you're, you're gonna be stuck in that same condition. Why? You're gonna be stuck in that same cycle. Why? Because you don't have no value for yourself. You see what I'm saying? If you don't have no value for yourself, how could you move forward as a princess? Because God called you to be a princess. Did you know that? Yeah, you did know that, right? Let me ask you this. What princess do you know to show off her body? No one. No one. Right. So to, to know that you're a princess, you got to acknowledge that, right? And how do you acknowledge that you're a princess? You walk in it. You walk in it. How do you walk in being a princess? Uh, you put clothes in your body. So yeah. people can't see. Like, yeah. Because guess what? Yo, you, if you're a princess, that means you're what? What does that mean, if you're a princess? That means you're royalty. You're supposed to be royal. And ain't nobody supposed to be seeing your royal behind besides you until you marry, right? So give me that uh, Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. I want to show you something because remember, the, the Bible said we went into, we, we, these conditions happened to us for what? Not keeping God's commandments. And we're still in these conditions to what? Because we don't keep God's commandments. You see what I'm saying? We don't do it still. Because like, 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 for, for, like for example, before you get that one, what's today? Saturday, right? What day of the week is it? Is it the first, the second, the third, the fourth? Of the week? Yeah. What day of the week is Saturday? Some people consider it the last. No, 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 not what people consider it. What is it? Look at your look at your calendar on your phone and you tell me what what, what, what day of the week is Saturday. Look at your look at your My phone died. Oh, it's what? the last day. Sunday's supposed to be the first. Okay, exactly. It's the last day. Right? How are we supposed to conduct ourselves on the last day according to God? It's the Sabbath day, keep it holy. It's the Sabbath day, keep it holy. Read what you got. Look at Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Because you 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 doing you doing absolutely absolutely good. Because most people can't even answer these simple questions. It's crazy how many people we run into that can't answer these simple questions. And you acing it. You nailing it. Hitting the head, hitting the hitting the nail right on the head. Come on. Remember the Sabbath day. Which day? The Sabbath day. Which day, sis? Today. Okay. To keep it holy. Come on. Six days. Shalt thou labor and do all thy work. Remember, they said to keep it holy. What does holy mean? To keep the God. Mm -mm. It's to keep it separate. That's all holy means. Holy means to keep it separate. Okay? I'm going to prove it to you right quick. Give me that Leviticus. I want to show it to you. Because if, 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 if you separate from everything, if you separate, if it's separate, are you supposed to treat it like the other six days? You're supposed to make it special. There you go. Read what you got. Chapter 20, verse 26. Read it. And ye shall be holy unto me. Sister, the Bible says that ye shall be holy unto me. Come on. For I, the Lord, am holy. Because I'm holy. You're going to be holy to me because I'm holy. Come on. And have severed you. What does the word severed mean? 
that off. Yeah, exactly. So if I so if I, if I took cut my watch band, I did what to it? I separated it. That's what I want you to understand. That severed means separate. Come on. And have severed you from other people. From other people. I separated you from other people. So not only did he, not only did the Lord uh, 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 separate the days, he also separated you from other people. Meaning the Israelites are different from any other people on the planet. Read it. That ye should be mine. That ye should be what? Mine. So that means you're separated unto God. Just like God separated the day. Go back to uh, Exodus 20. The book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Come on. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. To keep it what? Holy. What does holy mean, sis? To keep the, se the seventh day separate. Come on. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. It says that six days do all your laboring and all your work. Come on. But the seventh day. What the what day? The seventh day. Because of the seventh day, come on. It's the Sabbath it, of the Lord it, thy God. It's the Sabbath, come on. And it thou shalt not do any work. You see the separation? It says that six days do all your work, but on the seventh God day don't. Me. Meaning it's separating the seventh day from all the other six, right? Go to uh, 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 ex, uh, Nehemiah chapter 10, 31. Watch this. Because now we know to keep the Sabbath day holy is not to what? To work, right? There's more though. Because guess what? If you knew, if you knew, if you knew, was it? It was the Sabbath day, and you knew that you weren't supposed to buy and sell. Would you would have bought that gas today. <laughs> Read it. And if the people of the land, if bring the people of the land, look, guess what? Do we own the land right now? Hell no. So guess what? The people of the land would be the people that own A and P, right. the people that own Dollar Tree, the people that own uh, 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 Costco, the people that own. Uh, Wigs and beauty. What nationality of the people do you think own these places? It's not us. It's the so-called white man. Guess what? The white man is the first one that came out with an AMPM. They own the franchise of it. Yeah, it may be an A-Rab in the store that's that, that that's owning and they and they sell the stuff out of it, right? But the franchise belongs to who? The white man. So all of these all of these stores are franchised and owned by your enemy, the white man. Come on. Bring where or any victuals. Where is items of food for sale? Uh, items of food? No. Where is items of items for sale? Like gas? That'll be aware. Like like a uh, uh, clothing? That'll be aware. Uh, uh, pants or dresses or boots or shoes? Those are wares. The Bible said wares or what? Any victuals? Victuals is food, water, a uh, 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 snack. It said if they bring if they bring this to hey, you, the people in the land bring this to you. Come on, on the Sabbath day. On what day? The Sabbath day. On today. To sell. To sell it to you. That we would not buy it of them. You see that though we wouldn't buy it of them. When? On the Sabbath. On the Sabbath, because guess what? The Sabbath is a holy day. The Sabbath is a special day. Guess what? If we start keeping the Sabbath just, just on a on a minor scale, you know what we would do to this economy? Who's the number one consumer in the world? We are. We are. You throw a pair of Jordans up online right now. Who are the first people that's selling them out? We are. You throw a gun, you throw anything online that's appealing to black people. It's gone within minutes because we the number one consumer. Hey, where you at? They, we, we, uh, they, they, and they prey on that. That's why they give you all your sales on Saturday, so you can devour the Lord's Sabbath. They, they know the spiritualness of behind. Uh, 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 you not keeping the Sabbath. It's us don't know it. They don't. We don't know that that that, that day we supposed to be together and grow together and build our communities together. Instead, we out here at A and P and buying gas. Instead, we we in a uh, 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 Dollar Tree. Uh, instead, we in Dollar Tree buying uh, 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 whatever they got. Or we in and we in uh food food coat buying food here. Instead of learning about us. We the Israelites that the Bible speak of. Again, now go to Deuteronomy 22 and verse 5. Remember, I'm giving you the commandments. Why? Because the commandments is why we in the condition that we in. Right. If we turn ourselves around and start keeping the commandments, guess what else turns around? Your condition. Right. Right. Our condition. That's right. From being at the bottom. Now we working together as a nation of people instead of individuals. Because that's what you see in the black community. Am I wrong, bruh? Bruh, am I wrong? Ain't, ain't, ain't all, don't, ain't, don't, everything we see in the black community is individuals. 
Do we work as a people? We don't. Why don't we work as a people? No knowledge. That's the that's the perfect answer. We don't work as a people because we don't have no knowledge. No knowledge of what, big bro? No knowledge of us. And that's why we don't work together. Remember, uh, uh, sis, I told you in the beginning, we don't work together because we don't know who we are. We don't know our value. We don't know our worth. We call each other black, African Americans, when those are all European names. Yeah. We the Israelites that the Bible speak of. And the Israel and, and when you know your worth, you you that's just like you knowing the worth and and the price of what's 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 valuable to people these days? Diamonds. Diamonds. Did you gonna sell a, 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 a two carat diamond for ten dollars? No. You're gonna go look up the worth on that two carat diamond and sell it for what it's worth, right? That's just like our people. We we not doing we're not living the way we're supposed to live because we don't know that we don't know that worth. We don't know that, the, that we that two carat diamond that's, that's being sold for ten dollars. We don't know that. Give me um Deuteronomy 22 and 5. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. Come on. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What that mean, sister? Don't wear what a man's supposed to wear. Okay, okay, okay. Go ahead. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. What that mean? Vice versa, right? So as a man, I'm not supposed to wear what? A dress. All praise to the most high. Go back up to the top. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So as a woman, what you ain't supposed to be wearing? How you know mine but don't know yours? You see that? That's the knowledge that we like. That's the value that we like. Right. Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Now, what's the opposite of a dress? You about to say it. You, you, I know you're intelligent. Come on, man. Stop playing. You're an intelligent sister. Stop playing these games. What's the opposite of a dress? What? Exactly. You know the damn, you know, you know the damn thing. You, gotta, you remember. Remember, we, 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 we reading the commandments, right? We're reading the commandments of God. Do you love God? Huh? All right, she said she loved God. But the Bible says, if you love me, come on. Watch this. John chapter 14 and verse 15. I'm glad you quoted that. Come on. If ye love me. If ye love me. Keep my commandments. The Bible says, if you love me, keep his commandments, right? What, 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 what commandment we just read? No, yeah, me, you not wearing pants, but you, what are you supposed to be wearing? So the commandment is telling you to do what? Put on a what? A skirt or a dress. So if you love God, you're going to keep that commandment. Now, do you love God enough to put on a dress every day of your life? So it's specifically saying the Bible is to wear a dress. Give me that, First Timothy. Watch this. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Because you got to remember, we just read it and you just answered out of your own mouth. It said, the woman shall not wear what pertains to a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So when I asked you what a woman's garment was that I shouldn't put on, you said a dress. You know that. And when I asked you on the flip side, what the opposite was, you said pants for the man. So the Bible is telling the woman not to put on pants and a man not to put on a dress. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. Watch this. And according to God, there's no such thing. Watch this, and I'm going to show you. Go back to Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Pick it up. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Remember earlier, I said we don't know our value and our worth, right? Watch this. Come on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garments. This is about to show you how you don't know your value or your worth. Come on. For all that do so. Because all that do so, that all that cross dress, come on. Are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Guess what? If you knew your value, then you wouldn't take after the abomination. You know what I'm saying? If you knew your value and what God and what you meant to God, that wouldn't be so. You, the, way that, the way that we dress, not just you, sir. The way that we dress as a whole, because you got men out here doing doing the gay stuff. You got women out here out of order. If we knew our value, then we wouldn't we wouldn't take after the a manner of the abomination. You understand? Hello, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live 
on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Come on. 
The book of Romans, chapter 6 and verse 23. Come on. For the wages of sin is death. How the Lord going to get rid of us? By killing us. You want to die in sin? No. So, moving forward, what should you do? As a, as a woman uh, that, 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 that claims she loved God, you should keep the commandments, right? Which, which is one of the commandments is what? Changing how I dress. Changing how you dress. So I'm going to tell my job I got to wear a skirt. What, what do you work at? I work at Champs. Champs. You know what? That's, that's good. I'm glad you said that. Because um, my wife used to work at uh, Nike Outlet. Mm -hmm. And and, and uh, she had to wear the pants. You know? She she had to. But what did she do to stop? She went there in a skirt. And then she, she dressed according to uh, 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 her job's protocol. And then right when her shift was over, she was right in that bathroom changing out them pants right back into her skirt. That's not an excuse. You don't have to be like that. You don't have to be like that. We choose to be like that. You gotta be like that while at work, yeah. But while, but, but, but while outside of work and then after work, you should be how God tell you to dress. And get, you know what that'll do for you though? You know what that'll do for you? All, of the, all the unwanted nigga attention that you get, you wouldn't get it unless you like it. You like all the unwanted nigga attention? Okay, so how do you get rid of all the unwanted nigga attention? Exactly. So if you present yourself as a godly woman, you're going to get a godly reaction out of people. Right. But if you present yourself as a woman of this world, then all of the niggas of this world, that's how they're going to treat you. Right. They're going to treat you like a woman of this world. Give me uh, 1 John chapter 2 and verse 15. One of my favorite scriptures as of late. Read that. Watch this, sis. First John chapter 2 and verse 15. Come on. Love not the world. The Bible says love not the world. Guess what? Who teaches our sisters to dress like this? It sure ain't God. So who teaches our sisters to dress like this? The others. The world do. We see this type of stuff trending on Facebook, on Instagram, on TikTok. And damn it, I need me a pair of them small shorts to show my, my tattoo off. Damn it, I need me a tight shirt to <laughs> show. Huh? I said, what's that shade for my tattoo? What's that what? I said, what's that shade for my tattoo? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Read it. Love not the world. Come on. Neither the things that are in the world. It says, love not the world, neither are the things that are in the world. Good look, sis. God clearly shows you how to dress, right? Mm -hmm. And if you don't follow after God and his example, who are you following? You're following the world. What is nature? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation.